Hey, what is up guys? Bollins here. Today I'm making a trap beat using vocal chops in Kick Off of Band Lab. These vocal chops are gonna be actually gonna be from my voice myself. So this melody is gonna be really with fire, but I'm gonna start out with like a piano or some sort of other instrument, and then I'm gonna add my vocal chops on top just to give a cool accent layer. So if all you care about is the vocal chops, you can actually skip to this time on the screen, but I'm gonna make the melody first. Let's get into it. Woo! Let me show you an awesome effect. I'm gonna open up complete control and I'm gonna get a one shot going on here. It's gonna be a really fire one shot because let me show you what I'm gonna do. Um, let's make it a bell one shot. I'm gonna choose maybe this. That sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna hit this little cogwheel right here and then I'm actually gonna go to pitch an envelope and then hit reverse. So now if I copy the chords over, And this entire melody so far has just been layers of the same chords. Ooh. Wow, this is actually crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, I need someone real quick. Someone write in the comments some sort of meme making fun of stacking the layers on these chords. <laughs> da, da, ho. Okay, I'm gonna use this plugin called Graylian 2, which is a really fire and really easy to use um, pitch correcting plugin. I'm also using Little Ultra Boy for pitch um, shifting. Here's what my voice sounds like. So I'm gonna soon use a ping pong delay that is synced with the tempo and let's make it an eighth note delay.
That is a really good distortion on this melody. Um, just adds a little bit of grit to it. That's pretty fire. Ooh. This listen to this little listen to this pattern. This is this is crazy. Whoa, this is, this is, this is actually, this is, <laughs> I'm actually going to duplicate this melody also and have like an upper octave and then I'm going to pitch it up an octave using the radius mix advanced feature. And then you've really got to be careful to make sure that your sample is like sounding nice. That actually sounds all right, but it sometimes sounds bad. Imagine this in my intro. The speed is actually crazy fire. Okay, so what are some things we learned from this beat? First of all, layering chords is fire. Um, those chords were all layered up and they sounded great together. Second of all, I need to record my guitar in more often because that guitar solo is just crazy. One, well, the second thing I learned is that if I take the G clip off of the master channel, in post-production, I'm going to gain match them for you so you can kind of understand what it sounds like before and after. But here's before the G clip. And then here's after the G clip. For some reason, the kick drum just seems like it really glues together with the 808. 
because before the G clip, I probably would have thought that there's something wrong with the kick drum and I would either replace it or I would press start EQing things. And, but if I just put the G clip on there, it sounds really good because it glues everything together. I would also like you to notice, and I didn't necessarily like learn this because I already do this quite often, but I only have one perk track in this entire beat. It's literally playing the same pattern over and over. The reason that it has so much bounce is because there's this little hi-hat thing going on. But even that is repeating over and over. But also on top of that, if you listen to this 808 pattern, it sounds like this. Those two patterns are literally practically identical, except for the fact that I changed these two notes at the very end. Uh, also, I canceled my melody up an octave, and I did a really cool effect to it. Listen to this. What I did was I put a really fast delay on it, a 1 16th note delay. Um, but that's just really, really fire. Really, really fire stuff. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you really like, just the subscribe button. See you guys next week, Sunday and Thursday. I have two videos a week. I've been super duper duper jam packed with a whole bunch of school stuff recently. Um, but I love making these videos for you guys. I'm not stopping anytime soon as long as I can help it. I literally love making these beats and I'm so blessed to be able to show them with you and have you guys interact and have you guys teach me. You guys genuinely teach me a lot. By the way, this video was a reply to like a comment. Um, if you have an idea for a next video, um, leave in the comment section. I'll check it out there. See you guys later. Woo!